हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट आई पी वी फोर आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस विथ एग्जाम्पल एंड ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट क्लासेस इन आई पी आई हैव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाव इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज नेटवर्क लेयर प्रोटोकॉल्स लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन At the end of this session, you should learn about all the network layer protocols with example. Now, the first point is what exactly network layer? As we discussed earlier, network layer is a third layer in OSI model. Network layer is majorly responsible for to decide the route of particular packet when information is sent between sender and the receiver. They send packets towards in network. Another important thing is network layer also ensure that a particular information reach at destination accurately securely or correctly for that purpose they use different protocols like ip arp icmp and igmp now let discuss this protocol one by one now the first protocol is called as ip protocol that is internet protocol as we discussed earlier in ipv4 and ipv6 addresses they use the internet protocol generally ip addresses are used to find out a particular devices in network every computer devices having their own ip address right now there are two types of addresses ipv4 and ipv6 address ipv4 is a 32 bit address and it almost support 4.3 billion unique addresses unique devices and ipv6 is advanced version of ipv4 there is 128 bit address it also supports multiple devices and provide the advanced functionality like auto configuration security like this the example of ip address is c suppose this is a device a this is a ip address 192.168.1.10 and this device a want to send information to device b so device b ip address is this right so by using ip address ip protocol you need to identify which types of devices presents in network so this is the work of ip protocol now the next and second protocol is arp protocol here arp stands as address resolution protocol see in computer network there are multiple devices are present every devices also has their own mac address that is media access control address mac address is a hardware address and ip address is a software address every computer devices having a inbuilt nic that is network interface card and this mac address are printed on this nic card all the devices are communicates with each other in local area network through this mac address now sometimes what happen the particular pc suppose consider that this is computer b and their nic or network interface card get fail so at that time what happen you need to insert new nic right so their mac address is also change right so this arp protocol used to find out updated mac address of every pc in the particular network they map a ip address according the mac address of particular pc so this mac address is also useful for the communication in local area network let understand the working of arp protocol okay see here there are total three steps first is arp request step here suppose device a want to send information to device b but device a doesn't know the mac address of device b so at that time device a send arp request packet into the network so this arp request packet contain ip address of device a ip address of device b and the request for mac address of device b so this is the first step now the second step is arp reply so device a broadcast this arp request packet into the network so all the devices present in network recognize this packet and send back arp reply to the device a that is mac address of device b and ip address of device b so they send reply unicast or directly to the device a and now the last is one is communication establish so once device a receive arp reply 
they got the MAC address of device B, right? So after that, they send particular frame, particular information to the device B by using the MAC address. So in this way, ARP protocol are used to find out MAC address according the IP address of particular PC. Now, the next protocol is called as ICMP protocol. ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. The main operations of this protocol is to find out all the errors in computer network, to diagnostics the network messages and control the messages. Let's see in discuss. See here, ICMP protocol, the first message is like echo request, means ICMP protocol check that if the particular host is reachable or not, if particular sender device is present or not. For that purpose, they use a ping command. Now echo reply means they confirm that a particular host is reachable in computer network. There is no any errors are present. Next one is destination unreachable. Here, ICMP protocol also ensure that packet could reach at destination properly or not. If packet not reach at destination, so they generate the error that destination PC is unreachable out of the network. And last one is time exceeded. See, every packet, every communication required a particular time. Sometimes what happened, the time got expired and after that particular packet is sent, right? So they send a particular error that is time exceeded, packet is not reached at destination, you resend the packet, right? So these types of errors are identified by using ICMP protocol. They identify the errors, whether the senders and destinations PCs are approximately reachable or not. Particular information is sent according the time or not. So this all path or this all messages they identified out and generate the errors according to that. And if these errors are solved, then smooth communication have performed between sender and the receiver. Now, the last one is IGMP protocol. IGMP stands for Internet Group Management Protocol. This protocol generally used for multicasting purpose. What happen? There are particular host and this multiple host to receive same data simultaneously. For example, there is a live cricket matches, right? There is a one particular host and multiple users are access those data simultaneously at the same time, right? Another example, there is an online streaming videos. There is a one host and multiple users watch that streaming videos online at the same time, right? So at that time, this protocol is used for multicasting purpose. Let's see how this protocol is work. The first step is joining a multicast group. See, consider that there is a one host, they want to uh, multicast online live streaming video, okay? So this host want to receive a multicast traffic, right? So at that time, they send IGMP membership report to all the multicast group address by using IGMP protocol. Now next one is all the other users and all the other devices use the particular this message or this information by using IGMP protocol. They give the access to all the users. Next one is leaving a multicast group. After online live streaming video or after live cricket matches, the particular host is no longer visible, right? So at that time, they can't receive a multicast traffic. So this IGMP protocol give a leave message and to notify the router. And last one is a router notification. See, the router is maintain the all the active multicast group membership, means how many users are present. For example, in live cricket matches, there is a particular count, like 2 million users are actively, lively watch a particular match, right? So this all things have happened by using IGMP protocols. So this is all about network layer protocols. Thank you. Keep learning.